Hello Disney Dreamlight fans and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for all of your continued support and all of your loving <laughs> of these videos. They seem to be doing really well. I'm glad I'm inspiring and you know it's it's been a crazy journey. So with this interior design sort of series we really couldn't do an interior design build without actually doing a laundry room, right? Every house kind of needs to have a laundry room. So I kind of took some creative liberty. Now we have a washer in this game, but we do not have a dryer. So we have to use just a little bit of our imagination. So I used two washers. Um, to sort of have the, the the dual appliances and I think it turned out really cute. Sit back, relax, enjoy the lo-fi and I'll be back in a minute. I was so excited when I saw this curved TV in my Scrooge. I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Who doesn't watch TV while they're doing laundry, while they're folding clothes, while they're doing, you know, all sorts of other stuff in the laundry room. Now, I chose sort of the robe drawers as to kind of mimic, you know, laundry that's ready to be put away. I did the hanging robe, you know, just to kind of symbolize maybe laundry that you don't dry, that you just kind of leave to air dry. And, you know, the sort of the decorating with the wall is, you know, we had to have planters, we had to have other pretty stuff on the wall just to kind of make it more lived in. And I think the you know, gone are the days of the old sort of musty laundry rooms, you know, with the drain in the middle of the floor on a concrete floor. No, we're going cute. We're going functional. And I think for the most part, we pulled it off.
Alright friends, as always, just some final finishing touches. I love this paw print. I think it's so cute going over the kitchenette or the sink area there. We had to have a clothes hanger for all those extemporaneous clothes that are hanging around. I think it turned out cute. Let me know in the comments what you think of the overall video, of the overall design, and if it's inspired you at all to try to do something on your own version of Disney Dreamland Valley. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a like, and if you're feeling generous, always hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for more from me when I go live and when another video comes out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.